Okay. Trap. Trap are masters of creating some air and making it into a sort of ski shape. Now we did a piece in the uh, in the magazine this year about a visit to the factory where I saw them wrapping air in various bits of carbon and such like in a 14 layer process. This is part of their Puma range, it's not like Puma but with an I in it, uh, but it's called their Rapido. They've put an extra wrap of, uh, of carbon on it and uh, a denser weave to give it more torsional stiffness. What you've got is a kind of, is, this is a touring ski, there's no doubt about it. This is not a free ride ski or an all mountain ski. It's a tourer, but it's a powerful touring ski. So if you're a bit heavier, if you do like ripping it on the down, we've got some good photos of some guys giving it the berries and some powder on these. So that's, uh, that's great. So it's, that's why it's got a, uh, a more beefy, um, uh, what have we got on it? A uh, marker tour uh, binding on it. So that's quite a strong, Binding and not the sort of thing you'd normally see on a pure touring ski. You'd normally have a little, uh, like a little Dinafit TLT or or um, or a, a, a lightweight Fritchie. So for a trab, this has got a, a very aggressive side cut. That still means it's nearly 22 meters. Touring skis are often absolutely dead straight, maybe 28, 35 meter side cuts, no problem at all, because they you want edge to be able to hang onto the side of some uh, steep traverses and things like that. This will still do that. It is a pretty stiff ski. It is a pretty stiff ski. So what you'll find is that when you're actually on piece, it does get in, hang an edge and drive. Not very whippy though, it's got a powerful tail, so it's not particularly, you don't just sort of ping it round, you, you let it ride round. Because don't forget, it is quite light, so if you lose an edge, it'll, ch it'll sort of chatter away a little bit. Much more than a kind of normal piece ski, but then it weighs about half the weight of a normal piece ski.